Casper scenario questions and expert answers can be extremely challenging to tackle, but we are here to help you prepare for any scenario question that may come your way during the test. One of the best ways to prepare is to review Casper scenario questions and sample expert answers, like the ones that I'll be sharing with you in this video. Check it out. Hi, I'm Natalie Stoberman and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe on whatever social media channel that you're watching this on so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you would like us to help you with your medical school applications, visit caspertestprep.com to schedule your free initial consultation. And FYI, check out the timestamps in the description of this video so you can navigate to specific sections that you're interested in. Here's what we're going to cover a Casper scenario and our expert response. And by the way, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions. So make sure that you comment below for a chance to win. And on top of that, there's one thing that will dramatically increase your Casper score. And I'll explain it at the end of the video. So make sure that you keep watching to find out. So let's get started. Casper scenario. Here's the prompt. You have a coworker who is clinically diagnosed with depression. She calls in sick and is unable to get out of bed very often. Six months into the year, she has been away from work for a total of 10 weeks. And this is a small company with few employees, resulting in less productivity in the workplace. Plus, she has become difficult to work with and she is very sensitive and unable to accept any criticism. Here are some questions for the scenario. One. What is going through your mind? Two, if you were the boss, what would you do? Three, tell us about a time that you had to support a friend or colleague during difficult times. Take a moment to reflect on these. How would you answer? Here's our expert response. This scenario presents an ethical and professional dilemma. Let's consider how each of the questions could be answered. What is going through your mind? Firstly, Notice that this is a scenario type question. You are asked to reflect on how you would react in a similar situation. And remember, the number one rule of answering Casper scenario questions is to remain non-judgmental. You must consider all sides of the situation, including your coworker with depression, your other colleagues, and the company. Here's a sample response. This is a sensitive situation to handle as clinical depression is an illness that requires attention, support, and the proper means to get to a better place. However, at the same time, with a coworker that is constantly missing in an already small company, there will be greater pressure on other employees to ensure productivity remains the same with her absence, which means more work and stress for the rest of the employees. In this instance, I will acknowledge that the coworker needs help and support, but the company also needs to take necessary steps to ensure there is no burnout or frustration that carries over in the rest of the team. Let's move on to the next question. If you were the boss, what would you do? This is also a scenario type question and you are asked to put yourself in the place of the boss. So how would you react to this situation if you were in their shoes? Here's a sample response. Although what the coworker is going through is an extremely private matter, as her boss, it is important for me to reach out to her and find out how she is coping. As well, find out how best the company can support her and ensure she feels like a valued member of the team as she navigates her recovery. In my information gathering process, I would request a doctor's note in confirming the diagnosis of depression, similar to what is required for other ailments. The purpose of requesting the note would be to verify her claim in order to ensure I would be able to use the rights I may have through company policy to offer sick leave. I would ask if she has access to the resources she needs for recovery. For instance, has she been able to get medical help through the company's health insurance? If so, that is great. If not, it will be my responsibility to ensure that she has the support she needs. During this discussion, should I learn that she has all the support she needs but is going through the journey of recovery, I would offer her the opportunity to take some paid sick leave to allow her to pursue recovery without the additional stress of work. 
That would enable her to focus on recovery, but also enable me to find a temporary employee to cover her position in her absence to ensure that the company goals and objectives are still achieved. When she feels strong enough to return to work, I would ensure her job is available for her. It is important to realize that mental illness should be treated in the same way as would a physical illness. For instance, if someone had been in a car accident and requires a few months to recover, they would be granted that opportunity. So this employee struggling with depression or similar illnesses should be granted the same opportunity. Note that this answer highlights the importance of gathering information and making an informed decision. That is a very important component for any Casper question and answer. And here's the last question in this scenario. Tell us about a time that you had to support a friend or colleague during difficult times. This question can be categorized as a personal Casper type question. You're asked about your personal experience and to explain how you dealt with a similar situation. With these questions, try to give a brief background of the situation. A couple sentences describing how you dealt with the issue or the situation and conclude with a brief sentence on what you learned from the experience. Let's have a look at a sample answer. My friend's mother was diagnosed with cancer and underwent surgery followed by months of chemotherapy. This was a difficult time for my friend and her family. Though I could not do anything to change the diagnosis, I did everything I could to support my friend and her family. I would make meals once a week that I delivered to their home, go to hospital visits with them whenever I could, and I invited my friend out to fun events occasionally to help her find the opportunity to relax. Eventually, her mother recovered and is now doing well, and my bond with my friend is stronger than ever. This situation taught me the value of supporting others during difficult times, and the big impact of small acts of kindness. These are lessons I will use to continue to serve my community. Notice that this sample Casper scenario included both experience and personal follow-up questions. You should keep this in mind. A Casper scenario can include two or even three question categories. After you are given the scenario, the follow-up questions may include experience, policy, and personal inquiries. And it is possible to see all three question categories in one of the 12 scenarios that you faced on testing. To know how to provide an answer for Casper questions from each category, you must have specific strategies. Having answer strategies for each question category guarantees that when you read any given prompt and read the follow-up questions, you will know how to structure your answer accordingly. And this is key to successful Casper prep. Those are our tips to help you ace your Casper test. And you can check out our blog to learn more about Casper questions and answer strategies. I've included the link in the description of this video for easy access. If you would like us to help you get a high Casper score, visit caspertestprep.com to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, so please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you have any questions about this video that I didn't cover, let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget that we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions, so leave your comment below for a chance to win. Thanks for watching. See you next time.